Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. In this short tutorial, I'm going to cover Add and Remove Holes. That feature inside the toolbox, the drop-down toolbox, the Edit one. Okay, So under Edit, you can see all of these different features that we have. We're going to start up here at Add Holes and Remove Holes. Now you'll notice right now they're grayed out. You can't actually see. I'm clicking on them and nothing's happened. You have to have a shape um, selected. Uh, this is pretty intuitive as far as what add holes and remove holes means. I'll show you a couple different um, ways to do that. So first, before we can actually use that feature, the add or the remove holes, we have to have an object selected. So I'm just going to go down here to my, um, my ellipse or my circle shape and left click that dude and you can see it's highlighted now. And now, add holes is selectable but remove holes is not selectable well why is remove holes not selectable well there there are no holes inside this um, object same thing with this little rectangle here add holes is available but remove holes is not so let's add some holes and I'll show you so if we left click on add holes, we go into that edit mode where we're going to start. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit on this circle so you guys can see. Y'all can see. If Now there's two different ways that we can do this. If we left click our points, we're going to make uh, straight edges, like square shaped holes inside this object. Let me demonstrate. So if I left click here, left click, left click left click left click and then hit enter on my keyboard a couple times two times you can see that I just made a hole inside that object now you can see the hole it's all straight edges okay this is all straight and jagged like so now if I go let me let me not go back there and I'm gonna do let me zoom back out so we did a left click, we drew a hole using the left click, and OK. On this square, let me zoom in on the square. I'll go back to edit holes. And I'm going to right click my points this time, and you'll see a difference. If I right click, then I right click, then I right click. See how that's starting to show a round shape? Right click, right click. And where is it? Yeah, maybe right click, hit enter on the keyboard a couple times. And now my hole, all of the edges are round. Okay? So that's the add holes. You can add holes to objects two different ways. Okay, more of a box hole with straight lines or a rounded shape. And you just cut that right out of there. So let's go to now the remove holes. If I left click this guy, well, now the shape has a hole because I just added a hole, and you can see highlighted here is the remove holes. So if I left click remove holes, look what happens. The hole just goes back away. Same thing here. If I click this one and I hit remove holes, okay, it's like nothing ever happened. So if you have an object that you're editing and you want to put holes in it, you can certainly do that. Or if you're editing an object and you want to get rid of some of the tiny holes, uh, you can certainly do that with the remove holes. So that's pretty much all there is in the add and remove holes inside the edit toolbox. This is Clint Seely, and thank you for watching.